Hey guys, uh, to any tennis tennis lovers out there, um, uh, I have a short video on what happened with the U.S. Open tennis final with Serena Williams versus the newcomer Osaka. Um, now, I played tennis when I was younger. I played quite a bit. I played in high school and I played some in college too. I played in competitions. It was it was fun. I did pretty good. I wasn't top player but I did pretty good and um, I have to agree with the Serena's coach on this one who said Patrick I think his name is Patrick uh, Roddick who said that this these rules in tennis are really they're 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 kind of they're ruining the game kind of I mean not allowing the players to express their frustration I mean you know I understand breaking a racket uh, breaking a rack you know smashing a racket that's always been a penalty uh, a warning first and then a penalty but just for calling names I mean you know John McEnroe was the the back in the 90s my era you know in the 80s and 90s John McEnroe was the one who was causing who was uh, you know, calling the umpires all kinds of names and all kinds of nasty names. Um, and, you know, it's like he, I don't, rem he, I mean, he never, I don't think they ever gave a game away for something like that. I can see a point being taken away, but an entire game, I think the entire game thing was, it was harsh. And... I, I can see what could have happened. Okay, as a tennis player, most most both of them were holding their serve, and what happened is um, Williams was down three to four in the second set after losing the first set. So by giving the game away to uh, the opponent, she was immediately down five to three. So if if you know, if 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 it had if the game was not given away like that, Serena was on serve and she, I think she was on serve, and then she would have held she would have held the serve and it would have been four four. Uh, then maybe would have gone five four Osaka, five five, and then six six five six six. We would have possibly had a tiebreaker in the second set. So. Yeah, so it's kind of a the game penalty was kind of was was tough. That that was a tough one, and you know it's um, it's hard to come back from a and from a being down when both when players are holding their serves, you know. So I'm actually kind of glad that Osaka won. She's a great girl. I like her a lot. She's a, just looking at her. She's very young. And she's she's a, she just seems like a great girl, and I'm glad that she won. I mean, Serena's ha had her share of you know wins in tennis, and I don't mind. I'm I'm actually glad that that she lost. Uh, it's time for some new blood to get into the arena. You know, she just had a baby, and you know she takes more time. She needs to take more time off with her with her child. I I'm surprised she went back this year to the Open. She should have just stayed home and took care of her baby. Um, so that's my take on it. And um, if you guys have any comments, write them down below. Uh, tomorrow is the men's open uh, finals at 4 o'clock on ESPN, 4 p.m. ESPN Eastern Time. I'll be watching, I'll probably be watching that on ESPN. Um, I, I haven't really watched a lot of sports at all. I just, I've just been into other, my life has been going on in direct, different direction, but I might watch it tomorrow. Now, now Djokovic, Novak Djokovic, who's the number one player in the world, is from my neck of the woods. He's a Serbian player, which is, which is, which are neighbors to where I'm from, Croatia. And, uh, you know, our guy... As you people, as you, as everybody knows in the tennis world, we we dominate the tennis industry. Okay, uh, the Croatian and Serbian players, we dominate the tennis industry. There's nobody even close to us. 
So I'm propping that horn for my people. Uh, yeah, baby. Balkans, baby. Um, I just know that in uh, you know in Croatia, there's a in Serbia, there's a huge, um, huge tennis academies that are going on, and you know, it's it's good to see Novak back in it again, but. I got to tell you, I'm kind of tired of seeing Novak in the finals also. I mean, that guy's been winning. I think he won like 12 or 13 Grand Slams, something like that. And now he's in. A, now he's got a chance to win another Grand Slam. I mean, wow. Um, so actually, I would love to see Juan Del Potro kick his ass tomorrow. I would love it, and I'm going to be rooting for him. But, you know, I don't know. I haven't really watched... Uh, the players. I haven't watched El Potro. I might watch his. I might watch his uh, tapes tonight on you. You know, online if they're if ESPN's put it on there. Like I said, I haven't been watching the U.S. Open at all. But um, if Del Potro beat uh, was leading and beat Rafael Rafa Nadal, uh, that means that he's a he's a he's an excellent player because Nadal Rafael Nadal. Is is a monster. He's one of the best players out there. He's, he's like top three. So the fact that Del Potro beat him means that Del Potro is playing really good, and it should be a really good match tomorrow. So see you guys later, and post any comments you'd like. God bless. Bye.